Okay, so this is part five. So what we're going to be doing next is we're going to go and fill in the uh, holes in this character's head. So what I'm going to do, the very first thing is uh, I'm going to take care of this hole that we have in here, this big one. So what I'm going to do with that, in my modify panel, I'm going to go select border mode and select that entire border. Okay. Then with that, I'm going to go and click on cap. So what that will do is it'll fill it with uh, geometry. Okay, but as you can see, uh, this is not really what we want. So go to vertex mode, and then all we'll do is we're just going to go and connect these uh, uh, edges together. So what we need to do is we'll right click and we'll go to cut, and then all we'll do is just cut from this. Vertices to the other one. So, right click to get rid of that. So, click, click on that one, then right click, and then click on this one. And we'll just go and connect all of these together. Okay, so it looks like I have. I'm not going to have enough geometry because over here I have one, two, three uh, left, but over here I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what I can do is I can either go, I, I can go to this one and cut from that one to that one, and then from this one to to that one maybe. Okay, then something else that I c that I can do is I can either delete these edges, but that is not really what we want because then we're gonna have um, the polygons we're gonna have are gonna be too big. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hit F3, and I'm just gonna cut from this edge, and I'm just gonna cut all the way through just like that. Same on this side, cut from that one to that one to that one, and then just follow through with that. And then the same with this one, cut from here, and just follow through with that, and then just hit F3 again. Okay, I've noticed I have a little bit of an issue over here. I have two vertices. Okay, I don't really know where they are supposed to go. Let's see this one. Okay, so all I'll do is just select those two vertices. I can see that I have these two vertices selected. Okay, it's important that you always have a look at. Uh, if you select multiple vertices that you uh, look at this over here so you can see how many you have selected so for example if I was to click and drag over this um, area like that then I can see now I have six vertices selected I have these two and then these four at the back okay so always just make sure that you select the correct ones if you are unsure you can just hit F3 and I can easily see there's no vertices behind it and I can easily select those two okay then all I will do is I'll just go to my weld settings and then uh, weld that together. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, then the next thing that I'm going to do is with edge mode, I'm going to go select this edge over here and hit control backspace. Okay, just to get rid of that. Okay. So now I need to go and see how I can fill this one. So I'm going to go to border mode, select this entire border, and I'll cap that. Go back to vertex mode, I'll right click and I'll cut. Okay, so I'm going to go and cut from this one. But before I do that, let me first cut from this one to that one that one to that one, remember to right click to get out of that to make a new one okay now I'll cut from this one to that one and I'll just follow along this shape of the eye okay I see I missed one over there I have two vertices I'll get uh, I'll weld those two together just now. Okay, it's always uh, important to have a look 
as that you don't um, accidentally do that so uh, good thing I noticed okay so I'm just following along with the ship so this can actually go and I can go inside and loop endlessly so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and end this over here in a triangle so when it comes to triangles ooh, see I have another one over here we could just weld these two together okay and where was the other one over here and weld that okay it's always important to uh, when it comes to modeling you want to actually avoid having triangles okay if you have one or two that are really small th and they are in an area that's not really gonna uh, do a lot of a whole lot of movement then you don't really need to worry too much about that but always try and keep your triangle count as low as possible so sometimes it's not always possible to um, not have a triangle so in some cases you can actually um, fix that okay but um, this smaller one I'm not really gonna worry too much about okay then I'm just gonna go to my front view and just shape this a little bit better okay so I just go in and just start to round that out. Okay, I'll go to my left view as well. Okay, and then I will just go and shape this. Okay. So as I can see over here, her cheek is quite flat. Okay, so I'll deal with that in a moment. Okay, these small little tweaks, like I said, I'm going to leave that for in between lessons. Otherwise, these videos are going to take way too long to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go right click and cut again. I'm going to cut from this one. Okay, I'm just going to follow along this shape okay and I see in this case I'm also gonna have to make a triangle okay I'll see if I can deal with that uh, on the later stage okay Again, I'll just go to my left view and then I'll just go and shape this again okay front view okay, I'll go and, um, and shape that later all I need to do is just pull this out just so this rounds out a little bit more okay but I'll do that in between lessons okay so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go, instead of going around, I'm actually going to right click and cut. I'm going to go from here down to here. Okay, and as you can see, I have another triangle. Um, let's see, how, what can I do with that one? Okay, I'll, uh, I'll figure that out later. Okay, so what I want to start doing now is, as you can see, her cheek is very flat. So I'm going to go to my left view and I will just start to pull this out. Okay, just so I can round that off a little bit.
this that's slowly starting to get shaped I'm just gonna pause the video and then just continue just to shape that out okay so as you can see now this cheek is nice and rounded out okay that's looking good I just want to see what I can do with this triangle there we go that's actually fine okay so all I did was I just right click and cut from this vertex to this one okay then I'll go to edge mode and I'll hit control backspace on that and then I can just take this vertex and just move that out and as you can see now we don't have a triangle anymore okay I think that's looking quite good Yeah, the cheek is nice and round around. I see I still have uh, a few points over here that I need to go and round out, but uh, I'll take care of that once I have all of this geometry. Okay, so now comes the tricky part, getting the nose. So first thing that I'm going to do, border mode, select this border and cap then go back to vertex mode and now I need to see how I'm going to go about shaping this nose. So I'm going to right click and cut from this vertex to that one okay and I'm going to go from this one to that one to that one and let's see I'm gonna go from this one to here to here to here and that's gonna follow all the way through okay I'm gonna right click and cut again I'm gonna go from this one to this one to that one and then down there and then from that one to that one to that one and that one we have another triangle but I'm gonna get rid of that uh, just now okay I might go from here to here to here and then in there and just select that one and then just bring that out and now that, that's not a triangle anymore okay what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add in another edge in here so I'm gonna go to edge mode select one of the edges hold down shift and select another one Okay, and I'm going to go to connect and add one segment in there. Okay, I'm going to right click and cut. I'm just going to take this one and just go and complete that. Maybe go to there. Okay, so now we have uh, our nose more or less complete now it's just going and shaping the nose so shaping the nose can be quite tricky okay so I need to go and bring this out some bring that out I need to bring this one out a little bit uh, taking this one push that in a little bit take this one and also push that in okay 
guys, so she has, she doesn't have a, a big nose, I'm going to take this one, uh, let me go to my left view, I'm going to push that back, okay, I'm just going to take this one and just push that in a little bit, Okay, so you just want to basically take this sh shape over here and just start to just bring that out a little bit. Okay, that's why I said the nose is kind of tricky because uh, it's important to to get the right shape take this one and actually pull that down and in take this one pull it down and go in I'll push this one down a little bit just to round that off okay so maybe something like that I'm going to take these ones and pull them out you go to my left view again I'm gonna take this one and just push that up a little bit something like that should be fine I can just go and tweak that some more later on then what we want to do is wait I actually need to take these ones because we need to make the hole for the nose we're just going to take these ones and push them out take this one push that in a little bit Okay, I'm going to take this one and also pull that up a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to try something here quickly. I just want to see what is going to work the best. No, that's not going to work, never mind. So I need to see where's the actual nostril going to be. And I think Okay, wait, maybe if I just take these ones and push them out like that take these ones and just pull them out and down a little bit more okay something like that and I'm just going to take this one and inset that not too much okay so I'm just inserting that to something like that and then I will extrude it in okay don't want to go too much okay just something like that should be fine And then I can also hit R on my keyboard to go to my scale tool and I can scale that in a little bit. And that should be fine once we smooth um, 
everything out I think that should actually be fine okay so there we have the node I see I still have uh, some issues I'm just gonna go to my front view like this needs to actually go and be pushed back and I think that is looking pretty good I'll just do some more refinement in between lessons okay and yeah so I'm just gonna stop the video here for now because uh, I don't want these file sizes to be too big